Hey, I'm going to show you how to use Anchor FM um, to make your podcast. You will log in with Google. Use your school account. And then you're going to click on um, new episode. There's another thing, your first time you make it. This is not my first time. I practiced and played around with it for a little bit. Um, there's another button here. I can't remember exactly what it says, but it says something like, try it out or something like that. You can click that button or you can press a new episode. Anchor is really great. It has everything all in one place and it's um, I think it's well organized for you. Um, it's a place where you can record your audio right in there. So it'll tell you which microphone you're using and then you'll just press start recording now when you're ready. So all you do is press that button and it starts recording. Uh, you can record and record and record. Um, they'll let you record up to 30 minutes. Uh, if you want to record longer, um, you can upload that a longer video, a longer um, audio clip, and then put it into this uh, this anchor um, thing through through the library. Okay, when you're done recording what you want to say, or again, you can do sections. So you could just say, hey, I'm just going to record the very beginning of my podcast, uh, and then I'll stop. Uh, and you can do that, and you can keep going. So you could stop, um, and then it'll upload that file here. And you can see earlier today I uploaded um, three different audio files. Um, when you're ready to put an audio file into your episode of your podcast, you'll press the plus button. So this one's still uh, still loading. You can also, well, it's oh, there it is. Um, you can add background music to what you were saying to your words. So if you wanted to have background music, you can press the get uh, pick background music, and they have all different fun little. Uh, background musics. Um, you can do an ominous one. Is it like something uh, scary? Um, you can do one with beats. You can, you can press play to hear what they're going to sound like. You can decide how loud you want them to be. Do you want it to be like really loud? Or do you want it to be like really soft background music as you're talking? Uh, it's up to you. Well, there's whimsical, dramatic, curious, um, lots of fun background musics that you can choose um, for your podcast. You can make it sound really fancy. Okay. So when you decide on the one you want to go in the background, we'll go with that. Denzel Sprack. I'm going to put it about there and press apply. Now it'll have to process again. I have to process um, my words with that fun background music on it. Um, but you have two options. You can either drag the audio files over to your episode. Um, it's kind of like you're building your episode over here on the right-hand side, um, where you can press the plus button and it put, put it in there. So you can put that one there. I can listen to what it sounds like. So I can hear the music. Then I'll probably hear myself talking. And um, so that's, that's what it'll give me a preview. And if you can't hear it, I can hear it. Um, it's myself talking with uh, background audio on there. And again, if I have multiple pieces, so this was the one part, and I can I can edit it too. So I could say um, me talking with background audio, um, or if that's my introduction, right? I can click that little arrow, and I can say introduction. Now, when it when I put something else, it's not going to stop. It's just going to keep playing from here to here, to the next section, okay? Um, if I want to preview what it's going to sound like going from this section to this section, I can press the preview at, uh, preview episode button at the bottom, okay? In the library section, you'll see anything that you've uploaded or recorded at any point. Again, if you're doing this all in one day, I'd highly recommend editing what they're called so that you can keep track. Um, you can also add songs uh, from Spotify. Now, if you do this, do realize that it will slow down your processing part. Um, if you put songs in from Spotify, it'll take a little while for it to say, oh, okay, um, you are allowed to um, post that uh, post that video. So just be wary of that. Also, when you put songs in, it's going to be the entire song. 
Um, so if you're like, oh, I'm going to put in like 30 seconds of my favorite song at the beginning, um, that would be cool. But the way that this is set up, it's going to be the whole song. So um, you want to be careful with that. Now, if you want shorter pieces of music that are already pre-recorded, or if you want um, some transition music, you can go to the transitions part. And there are lots of transitions. Um, that's like a I don't know if you heard it, but yeah, um, there's uh, different songs you can like tra like be transitions. So um, in a lot of podcasts, they'll play transitions between different parts of the episode. So if this was my introduction part, and then I want to have like a transition to me telling more information, I can put the transition in there. And now when it plays, it's going to play this part um, of me talking with the audio in the background. Then it'll play this transition. And then it'll play the next part with me talking. Um, they have quite a few. Um, they even have some like, uh, you know, some background, some sound effects. That's a goat. A um, lot of things in here. Um, there's a monster. Oh, that's scary. That was scary. Uh, there's a mouse. It's not an actual mouse. Bummer. Uh, so that's so that's what those are. They're fun little transition slides uh, that you can use for your episode. All right. So when I'm done with my episode, uh, I will click Save Episode right here. I would preview it first. Um, then you're going to put your title, example title, oops, and then you'll put a description. So describe what your episode's about. This episode is. Uh, is about so I put that and then you're just going to press publish now now again if you use songs from Spotify it's going to say submit for review um, either way you'll press publish now um, today I've had problems with this copy link button so you can try and press the copy link button if that works for you excellent they fixed it um, but if, if not um, I'll show you a way around that but if that works you'll just paste that link um, into Echo for us to see your episode. Um, but you'll press the X button here, and it will take you to the page for your um, the, the podcast you just created. And you'll press this link button. You'll press Copy Link. And then you'll put that link uh, wherever you need it. Okay. Another way to do it is to go to Episodes. And then um, you can li click Copy Public Link to Episode is all you have to do. Here's one I made earlier um, with music in it. That's why it has this box with a little music symbol next to it. That means I used some of the Spotify music on it. Um, but it is available now for me later on. Uh, and I get the copy public link to episode. Also, they will this uh, anchor website also will send you an email when your podcast is posted, and it will have the link in that email. So if you're willing to wait like three minutes, uh, you can just wait for that email, see that email, grab that link, copy that link, and put it into Echo or the place that you are submitting your uh, podcast. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.